arrived and we're just loading up the DC-3 in Resolute Bay. We'll have a two-hour trip up to Isaacson uh, and we'll land on the old abandoned airstrip where we will be dropped off and then from there seven young explorers will test their courage against the Arctic Ocean. I feel so excited to go on the ocean now. We are ready and it's getting started. We just had our first night here in the Arctic, pitching our tents, getting everything ready and it just feels like a dream to finally be out here and we have been preparing for this in the past few days and it's really exciting to finally be out here, feel the cold in our fingers now, our toes and just amazing, Look, looking forward to the next day now. Well, first night was uh, quite something because you need to pack four people in one tent but then when you're all together the heat comes and then you feel really better. It's something but you, we're gonna be okay. We go down, follow this little valley going down. Maybe it would be good to, uh, when we get close to that mountain, to scout the route. Leading uh, today, we said it's Saskia leading. So Saskia, you keep the timing. We start with a two hour walk to heat up nicely and then we can have our first break. We keep on on that two hours until the end of the day. Sleeping in the Arctic is, is good fun. We're nice and cozy in our small three-man tent. We've got thermal mats to insulate us from the freezing ice and good down sleeping bags and liners so we stay toasty warm during the night. Yeah, and our tent is specially designed for um, strong winds. So even if we got bad weather, uh, these tents can manage the wind and the wind will help actually to press the tent down to the ground. We we pitched the tent in under five minutes because in, in storms we have to do it really really fast or else we freeze. So we make our home in, in five minutes and then walk for eight hours a day, take it down, walk for eight hours a day and make it again and yeah it's great. It's great life. Every day there's a different view outside. The moment we get into our sleeping bag is paradise. Yeah. <laughs> in 15 minutes, one five we are uh, off. Head up straight north, more or less in that direction towards uh, the end of the open water. You can see that black cloud in the distance there. Take the right hand side of the black cloud, stay out of the pack on the flat ice. And then we don't have to cross water. Today's the day we're going to make good distance. Yesterday we had really good conditions. We had a bright sun, fresh snow to ski on, and no wind. So we totally flew in the snow and we did about 17 kilometers and this is a really, really good day. Yeah, today we've reached the 100 kilometers line and it's really good for our spirit because we're all really, really passionate about going to the pole and 100 kilometers is just nothing compared to what we what we want to. But now it's getting tough because we're in the pack ice and open water is in front of us and yeah it's possible that we meet some polar bears so we really have to be careful. The walking on the ice is quite hard, it jars on your shoulders and it's, it gets pretty sore but the, the environment here is just beautiful but it's scary because it's warm and we're already seeing the signs of climate change and we'll probably see open water maybe today or tomorrow. Uh, which is showing that yeah, the ice is breaking up earlier than it ever has before. So it's scary, but it's an awesome environment and we have to keep it. It's the first time now that we have had pack ice. And it was really tough sometimes, it got steep and really hard to pull the sled. We're heading slowly up north now towards uh, open water that we can see in front of us. 
the Young Explorers has uh, performed pretty well in the pack ice. Uh, they all found their way through the pack ice, although a little bit slow, fighting their way over big blocks of ice, uh, deep snow drifts. They managed to get uh, through it quite easily. The pack ice is just amazing. It's such an unpredictable terrain and every step you take is a new challenge and you pass over one bridge and you see, oh, there's another one. So it's, it's this constant adventure of not knowing what is in front of you. Uh, and when you then pass over the last ridge and you see a flat area in front of you, that's the best time you know our oh, good times are ahead. But at the moment we're having a lot of pack ice in front of us and we're making good progress. Team Moral is high and we're making it to the pole.